Like when he looks at you, his eyes just glow. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, that's perfect broadside. And that was good. That laser is pretty awesome. Laser Genetics, the ultimate night vision solution. Hi, I'm Byron South, coming to the call. Today I want to talk to you about these laser designators from Laser Genetics. Some of you guys may be asking, what is a laser designator? This looks like a light setting up on top of the scope, but what it does, it's actually shining a laser that has an adjustable beam. And what this effectively does is make this a, an affordable alternative to night vision. Why would you need night vision? A lot of us guys that hunt at night, coyotes, uh, predators, uh, if you will, hunt at night and we hunt with lights. So over the years, we've had to strap the big batteries on and shine around. Not so with these. These are small, whether you use it on, the, on your binoculars just, or just hand hold it. One battery will last up to seven hours. Now, you're not going to say you hunt all weekend. You're not going to probably hunt or need the light. You're making maybe 15 or 20 minute stands calling. If you like make five or 10 a night even, uh, this one battery should last all night. If you need a spare battery carrying your pocket, just one little one, two, three battery in your pocket and you're set. No more lugging around 10 pounds of batteries and all the wires. It does away with all that. What we do is, is mount this on the on the top of our scope, line it up with the scope, elevation and windage adjustments right here on your mounts, and we like quite a bit of magnification at night so we can positively identify our targets as we're calling them in. Uh, of course, you don't want to shoot somebody's cow or anything, so you want to positively identify your target. Now, it's not a good idea to positively identify your target looking at them with a loaded rifle. So a lot of times what we're doing, most of the time when we're calling, we'll use an ND3 like this mounted onto a, to a binocular. But what you can do is when we start calling, we turn this light on. We, I just, the way I use it is I adjust the collimator out where we have a wide beam. It's a little dimmer, but you can really see their eyes really well with this laser. It's, it's a lot better than a light uh, the way it reflects their eyes. So you turn it out where it's pretty wide beam, you go to call and once you get eyes coming in, uh, maybe a coyote's bouncing in or a bobcat's coming in, you can really see their eyes. Once we see him, we'll identify him. Uh, then once we identify that it is a predator, we'll get on him with the gun. And again, back to the rifle, this thing's already lined up with the rifle. Uh, we'll look through the scope. And being that you don't lose a lot of your energy to flooding like you do with a traditional light, all that energy is directed in a, in a single beam. Nothing lights up except for the target. So you get no flooding, so that spooks less animals. With this adjusted to your scope and turned up to 10 power, you should easily be able to identify and safely shoot your animals out to 250 yards. Now that we've got it mounted on the scope and lined up and everything's good to go, uh, we know how to use it and what we're looking for, we're gonna get it out in the field and see if we can't find some coyotes. You're in trouble, buddy.